What's going on guys, this is Chubbs from BZM Racing, back at you with another video. So today I promised you that we'd be talking about gear mesh. Um, Dom's has got a 2972, uh, 29 tooth pinion, 72 tooth spur, for those of you who don't know what that is. This is your spur gear here, and this is your pinion gear here. Alright, so what we're going to be talking about today is something really important in RC racing and bashing as well. Um, it's gear mesh. So there's a bunch of different ways, and there, I know there's a bunch of different YouTube videos out there, but uh, our way is a little bit different. Um, so what I'm going to be talking about here is uh, like the noise you're going to be wanting to hear, um, looking for wear patterns on your spur gear, if your pinion's too tight or too loose. Um, so first starting off, uh, if your pinion's too tight, your motor's going to cog and cause it to get hotter. Um, I haven't really experienced that before, but I know a lot of guys at the track have. Um, I have experienced a loose pinion gear and a loose gear mesh before, and you will shred your spur gear every time if it is not set right. So this is why this is such a crucial thing in RC racing and why we wanted to inform you. So the first thing that uh, um, a lot of people do to set a good gear mesh, which is, I mean, it works, I've done it before, is they take a piece of receipt paper, they'll cut it in half, and they'll roll, they'll roll it through. So what I like to look for like, is this click. I don't know if you can hear it, but it'll make a nice kind of knock noise. That is the mesh between the pinion and the spur. It's tight enough to the point where it makes that click, but it's not too tight where the point, it's hard to move the spur. So what I heard a good tip yesterday at the track, so this is what he told me. So when you have your spur and you move it, your pinion should not move that much or at all. See how it moved a little bit there? Um, yeah, that means his gear mesh is even a little bit loose. Uh, he raced on it, though, and it was fine, so I would just leave it. But like he said, if you were to hit a rock and the pinion were to jump a tooth, you could end up shredding your whole spur gear and your race night would be over. So that's what I wanted to tell you guys about. Um, uh, there's different gear meshes, different gear ratios. If you haven't seen a gear ratio video and how to set it and how to get the most power out of your car, you can check that video out um, on our channel. Uh, another key thing is when you're putting your, your set screw on, you want to put it on the flat part of the rotor of your motor. Um, Dom's does not have that, but we can get that set up for him. Um, yeah, guys, so if you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot, please comment down below. Um, <laughs> have a great day, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Bye.